Welcome back. We are here again with another unboxing. This one is a freeing bunny, but it is a bit of an interesting one because I never thought it actually would be made. Um, because normally what they will do is, if a show is kind of popular, they will immediately announce that it's going to get a freeing bunny. But lately what they've been doing is, is some of these series that are two, three years old now, are suddenly getting freeing bunnies and I don't know really why they're doing this but I'm very happy because Nagatoro is one of them, uh, Sayu from Hey Hero is getting one, uh, Shikamori from uh, Shikamori's not a uh, not just a cutie, uh, there's another one um, there's a few of them so I am very pleased with this because it gives me hope that some of these other series that have it's been a few years old now might get a freeing bunny because I really like these as you may have known um, but here's a really cool one let's check it out uh, there is some details in this one that I think might make it really really good if done right so let's get it out of here and see how it is so I did get this figure in particular from Ami Ami which the link will be down in the description if you want to order it from them they should still have it in stock but I do also have a link for Entertainment Earth down in the description. Um, if you order for anything from them that is in stock, you will get 10% off any order um, using my link. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested. Uh, I don't know if uh, this particular one is available there. Um, I believe this might have been something with Ami Ami to where they only were the only ones to sell it. Not for sure on that one, but I haven't seen this available everywhere. So it may be more limited than others, but it is still available on Ami Ami at the time of making this, so go check it out if you're interested in buying one for yourself. But anyway, let's get her out of her box here. Now, as you may have known, if you are a fan of the series, Nagatoro has a tan. That is kind of what makes her unique in some ways. Um, and so with that, she has tan lines. and. With those tan lines become some interesting features that you can take advantage of when it comes to making a freeing bunny. And from the look of the pictures on the box and online, it seems they have. Now, how well are those done? Let's find out, because that's not really something that freeing has ever really done. Um, so we'll have to find out. Um, first up, let's look at the base. Not a bad base. It's a black base. It is somewhat see-through, but as I've mentioned on a few of them, I don't really mind these kind of black see-through bases because when you put them on a table, you really can't tell they're see-through. They're not as bad as like the red one we got with Marin and definitely not as bad as that clear plastic looking thing that we got with Miku. That was just not good at all. Um, also, metal peg. I love when they give us metal peg. It makes them feel more secure. So, good job there. Let's go ahead and open up the rest of this here and see what we have. Get that out of here. All right, so getting the figure out here, let's get all the plastic off of her. Um, now, as for the character herself, um, I am kind of in the middle. Um, some people are big against her, and they are not a fan of her character or the show in general. Personally, I'm a big fan of her. Um, I'm a pretty decent fan of the show, um, but I think you know, there's. I think season two is much better than season one. I think as the series progresses, it gets better. So I'm I'm happy to get this. If I didn't like the thing, I wouldn't have got it. Um, now, as for the tan lines. Um, they're pretty good. Let's go ahead and put her on the base and get the ears on. Then we'll show you some close-ups and we'll kind of go into that more. So we have her on her base now. Let's get these ears out here. These are just ears for shipping um, and it makes it a little easier for them to paint, I believe. I believe that's, that's my ongoing theory on that. I know there's no confirmation on that, but it is my thought. Um, but let's get the real ears in here. It also gives you a less likelihood of breaking it when you're getting it out of the box, which is a big plus. So let's get that out of the way. So I'm going to show you some close-ups as I talk about this to kind of go over my thoughts on it. 
Um, but I will say this is a really, really well done bunny figure. Um, pretty much everything about it is perfect. And I know that is something that is easy to say, but man, they did a great job on this figure. Um, I'll start off with the face because that's the least prov provocative thing about this figure. It's perfect. It is exactly what she should be. The only thing that I would say is that Nagataro commonly has that very iconic grin that she has, which I think is the only other expression you could have done to make it better than what we currently have. But I don't think this is bad by any means, and I think it works just as well. Um, as for the bunny outfit and the look of her, the rest of her, it's really well done. Um, I will, before I talk about the tan lines and her chest, I will say the outfit itself has this kind of glossy, um, metallic-y look to it, which not a lot of other figures have. It is just black, and it has this sort of glittery look to it. I'll try to get that across on camera, but I don't know if I even can. But it looks really well done. Um, also, uh, the like I mentioned, the chest and the sun or the tan lines look perfect. It really is well done on how they go from the darker tan to the lighter tan. There's no real seams. It's blended very well, like it should be, um, and it just looks really good. Um, this figure also, as well, you can tell she is pulling down that. Uh, bunny suit to tease obviously her senpai um, and it's probably without being a very well endowed um, character this is the most chest we've seen from one of these and it's very well done um, it is proportionally accurate it is not you know incorrect on how they would do it they didn't make her chest bigger than it should be and it works really well not only this but it also gives detail to the hand because she is pulling it down and she also has her fingers curled down here at the bottom that gives a bit of extra detail that we don't really see in a lot of these other figures because they're just holding their hands out and not giving the same expression that she is now it would be foolish of me not to talk about this um, this is probably the most uh voluptuous um, behind of any of the bunny girls that I have seen. Um, now, obviously, this is helped by the fact she is leaning over. Most of the figures are standing upright, which doesn't kind of emphasize that. But here she is, so it is very much apparent there. Now, um, is it exactly right? Maybe it's a bit too much, um, but if it is, uh, I will say that is probably extremely uncomfortable because it looks like that is going into some very up there places that might be a bit painful if you have a rubber latex suit pulling. I'm going to stop there. Overall, I'm a big fan of this figure. This figure really impressed me on how it's done, how it looks, and just overall the vibe of it. Um, like I said, I, this was not a figure that I was necessarily thinking would be amazing, but I thought it would be good. And I was, you know, cautiously optimistic on how the tan lines would turn out, but they turned out great. Um, now, it's going to be hard for me to give this figure uh, anime figure of the year whenever that comes around, simply because I'm just not that massive a Nagatoro fan. So... I'm going to be more partial to figures of characters that I'm a bigger fan of. But in terms of a solid bunny figure, this is up there. Um, now, obviously, uh, Lukoa from my or Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid is probably my bunny figure of the year so far. This is a very close second, if not number one. Um, now, there are a few other ones that I've gotten this year. Ami from Toradora was great. Um, and there's a few other ones as well. So... A lot you could consider that are that bunny figure of the year, which we'll talk about at a later date. But if you are a fan of Nagatoro, you're not going to be going wrong by picking up this figure. You're absolutely going to be getting a good figure. You're going to... This is probably the best Nagatoro figure we've gotten. Uh, this is one, and the uh, Nindroid is the only two that I have. So 
I'm very pleased with those two selections. So anyway, that's about it. What do you think of this figure? Is this a figure you're going to pick up? Do you think the tan lines are done correctly? And do you think the other details are worth, you know, picking up just because of the extra bit they've gone into with this one? Um, personally, I think it's worth picking up if you're a Nagato fan. Even if you're not that huge of a fan, I think it's worth picking up still because I just think it's very well done. Um, but anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. We will have more bunny figures on the way. Um, we have one that is sitting right there that is coming up probably next week, and that is Mai from uh, Rascal Does Not Dream Bunny Girl Senpai, the most iconic bunny girl, in my opinion. Um, so how does that turn out? That'll be a good question. So subscribe for that. That will be coming next week, as I mentioned. And uh, we will have many, many more to come. So thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys again next time. Bye.